Hello and welcome to my channel. This is my life for air. Just came back from uh, the trip to Bolzano, northern city in Italy. I made a lot of videos. It's gonna be a nice travel vlog. Uh, um, two days trip. Made a lot of videos. Um, so I brought all my cameras with me. On the trip, I had a seven R two, a sixty three hundred, and a uh, fifty one hundred. Um, even though I had so many options, I still had trouble choosing between these, especially between the a sixty three hundred and a fifty one hundred, because I wanted to use this flip screen to uh, vlog, but the problem is it doesn't have good sound, and I want to use the Sigma sixteen here, Sigma sixteen four point for lens to vlog on the on the A5100 so that I can see myself and create a beautiful bucket but the problem is that the Sigma cr uh, creates this noise when, when it's in auto focus mode so I cannot use that uh, to shoot vlog because it's, it's, it's very audible it's a very annoying constantly static sound like that's so annoying for vlogging, so I couldn't use that on a 5100. Um, I could use the 10 to 22 millimeter to vlog because this menu focus it doesn't create this, this kind of noise, but still, there's consider have to consider the audio quality um, because uh, I could I could just I can I could just put uh, a microphone on the a 6200 uh, so that. Uh, the noise is not that much picked up, um, which was what I did, essentially. Um, yeah, basically I vlogged with the A6200 all the way, uh, shooting 1080p, which is kind of uh, frustrating because I wish I could use this to shoot more 4K because uh, shooting only 1080p is kind of waste for the potential, uh, waste of potential of this camera. Um, but I just, you know, vlogging, I really don't want to shoot a lot of 4K, it's super hard to edit. So I want to have a, a much easier workflow afterwards when I edit. So I just chose to shoot 1080p for everything. And uh, yeah, that's the struggle between these two cameras. Uh, the option between audio and, uh, and uh, being able to see myself. So yeah, if 6400 is gonna be a perfect camera for me vlogging. Actually, I don't. It's not bothering that much without uh, image stabilization. Neither of these camera have ima uh, image stabilization in body, so I'm totally fine vlogging with them uh, because um, I, I don't shoot actions, I don't run around and stuff. Um, I really just point it at myself and shoot very static stuff. So you don't really notice the the shake when it's in out of uh, when it's a wider angle lens. So that's kind of fine by me. Like you, you will see the all the shake and the jittering when you are shooting landscape, like sliding from one side to the other side, painting. You see it, it's gonna be shaky, but I don't use uh, those vlogging cameras to shoot that. Uh, so yeah, I guess it's gonna be fine if I had a 6400 so I could just choose between 4k and 1080p and uh, I can I could still see myself and I could still mount a microphone and could have a perfect sound for my vlog So yeah, maybe someday I'll trade in both a 6300 and this 5100 To get a 6400 we'll see in the future only if the price drops, right now it's super expensive, 900 euro. What? Never gonna get that. All right, saving money. Not gonna spend any more on gears, unless I sell my old gear, that's the rule. Another thing is I shot, first day I shot a lot with a Semyon 35 millimeter lens. I really enjoyed using that. Uh, it, it creates a really beautiful video and the photos. Uh, but. Yeah, with time, it just felt a little bit tiring to hold the camera. It's really heavy. 
the lens is really heavy and it's very long with the adapter so you can see it's uh, as long as my face it's really heavy on my a, uh, 7R2 and also I don't get of, uh, the versatility so basically I had uh, yeah, a prime lens on my A6200 to vlog, and then a prime lens on my A7R2 to shoot vlog, uh, shoot, sorry, shoot video, B-roll, shoot uh, photos. So I don't have a flexible um, lens. Like I had, I brought the 18105 with me, but I didn't shoot much, much with it. Basically, just set on the A5100, doing nothing. Shot only very little, very limited footage with this zoom lens. So I wish I could use the zoom lens more. Maybe the next time I'm gonna just use the the big super zoom 24 to 240, so I can cover more range and I can shoot vlog because it's 24 is wide enough and I can also shoot landscape and I can shoot telephoto. It's gonna be very interesting. But for that I will sacrifice the fast aperture. Uh, it's always with trade-off. There's no perfect lens. There's really no perfect lens. Yeah. You could have the GM 24 to 70, but that's super expensive. And does it have in-body uh, image stabilization? It doesn't. But it doesn't matter what you have in the body, in the camera body. And then there's Tamron 28 to 75. It's gonna be. It's awesome lens. Very affordable. 700, 800 euros. For f2.8 lens, zoom lens is crazy, it's really cheap. Uh, the, the problem is the 28 is really tight, so 28 is gonna be like this. Right now, I'm using the 18 105, so it's, when you vlog, it's gonna be very tight, you can't really see the back, background. Uh, that's my only issue with that lens. So, yeah. Hmm. Also, since I already have 24 to 240, there's doesn't make sense if I get another standard zoom because that lens already covers all the range. Unless I will sell this uh, super zoom lens, uh, we'll see. There are so many options, so many options. So, all right, I, I've been shooting exclusively with a Samyang 35 lens on my A7R2 for a long time, for a few months since since I got the adapter. Not a few months, maybe uh, just one month. <laughs> yeah, um, I thoroughly enjoyed using that lens. It's really beautiful. Uh, it's really, really great image quality and uh, great effect. The bokeh, you can play with the bokehs in so many ways. You can just transition, uh, fade in, fade out, uh, whatever. But yeah, I think uh, I need to return to the zoom lens a little bit, take a break from the bokeh and just you know, uh, do something different from time to time. You need to change change up a little bit. So yeah, that's my plan. Next, I'm gonna shoot zoom, zoom lens instead of the Samuel 35. It's too good, All right? It's too good. It's a little bit slow and it's not, not as versatile because it's manual lens and it's prime. But it's awesome. Uh, all right. I think though this one month testing with the Samyang 35 has been very successful. I shot some really nice photos I really liked and also videos. Yeah. So great. And um, tonight I'm not going to be able to edit the videos. So I'm going to try to edit tomorrow and uh, the day after tomorrow. Yeah, basically this week. And uh, yeah, stay tuned to see my vlogs in Bolzano beautiful city we went to the lake in a mountain very cold snowy and the trees were struck down by I don't know a storm or rain I heard that the, the, a lot of trees were destroyed on the mountain it was interesting to see a little bit dangerous it's rainy it's slippery and then the second day we went to the castle to see the castle and inside as well to visit the castle it's pretty cool I think it's gonna be a very nice vlog um, most of the main vlogging footage were shot on 1080p, but it doesn't matter, it doesn't really bother me that much. It's just I wish I could have more chance to shoot 4K B-rolls, just landscapes. I actually did with the Samuel lens. Uh, yeah, 
Carrying three cameras is painful. <laughs> it is pretty painful to carry all those cameras and lenses. So I'm gonna try to do a simple, simple way next time with a super zoom lens, and that's it. Yep. What else? What else do I need to say? Mm, that's pretty much it. It's already 10 minutes video. It's been long enough. Alright, see you in the next video.